what is going on ladies and gerbils this is part two of clean pin picking up from when we left off with part one we left off about talking about our good friend Loki there his comments on Twitter over the past week about wearing a mask but, uh, you know, uh, this coming Wednesday, which is just uh, two days from now, we're going to have um, Fighter Fest, AEW Fighter Fest. And uh, I just want to give you uh, my thoughts, my predictions on Fighter Fest um, from night one. Uh, this is obviously. In no particular order of my fighter, uh, fighter fest predictions. Um, you have MJ and Morlow uh, versus uh, Luchasaurus and uh, Jungle Boy, is it right? Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy? Uh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is a very interesting uh, kind of matchup to predict. You know, I, I see MJF, and, and I think he is, like, honestly, like, I, I would think, like, if you put MJF uh, going up against Mox, uh, Moxley, that would be money. Money, without a doubt. Without a doubt, I, I think you know MJF is just uh, waiting to be uh, b- b- bolstered. Bolstered is that a word? Being just to be bolstered, uh, catapulted into that that next tier, uh, the main event tier, main event players. Guy could cut a promo. He has believability, like you do want to punch him in the face. So. And, uh, you know, you have Rorlo there, that, that pairing. Um, and, and I get it just uh, just to make, uh, that I get that pairing. It just makes MJF more just, we well, want to punch him in the face. So I get that. I get the pairing. But then you have Jungle Boy, who's also, you know, who, who, who's ready uh, to, to, to make that jump into that, you know, category, into that tier, kind of, I think, where, um, you know, where, uh, that category, that tier where MJF is now, right? So I think, you know, Jungle Boy, MJF, you know, MJF is a little higher tier, Jungle Boy right down below them. So they each uh, are in a process of, you know, jumping tiers. Jungle Boy, not really a boy. But more of a man, more credibility. Like the matchup that he had with Cody. Um, but are you going to put uh, MJF against Cody right away? Or are you going to wait and let it play... Uh, uh, MJF against um, I'm sorry, Moxie, or are you going to let it play it out uh, a bit? I think they're going to, I think that's next few for Moxley. I think they're going to play it out a bit, maybe milk it a little bit until they figure out what to do with the crowds, what to do with the audience. So that that's why I think this is kind of um, where you're at a, a crossroads between these two factions or in, in, in particular, between the character of MJF and Jungle Boy, uh, I, I think it's going to be a victory by Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus. Something's going to happen where it's, um, you know, MJF tries to to pull a fast one on Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy, and it backfires, gets Warlow all uh, crossed up. Gets him messed up, and 
Borlo does not take uh, exception to that kind of tease some dissension. I don't know, maybe you have uh, Warlo to turn into a face. MJF, kind of a little feud there uh, before MJF uh, moves on to uh, Moxley. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys, but I'm thinking something has to give, and uh, I think they want to really, uh, both of these characters need to uh, kind of uh, keep on climbing that ladder, and I think that's kind of uh, what happens uh, here. So I think it's going to be a um, team of Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy uh, winning this match. Sheeta, the Women's Championship, uh, versus Penelope Ford. Don't get me uh, wrong here, Penelope Ford. Um, definitely um, uh, I has the luck. No shit, right? No shit. No shit, Tom. She has to look. Uh, I think she has something. Uh, but in no way is she uh, ready to have the championship. Sheeta, by far. By far. And this is not a... Um, this is not a kind of a bullshit line here. Sheeta by far is the best woman wrestler that they have. I think their shave, their shave, shaving, shaving. I think they're saving Sheeta uh, for Britt Baker or to, to, you know, try to, uh, you know, kind of keep that kind of. Uh, I think that's what they're saving uh, Sheeta for against Britt Baker. I don't see uh, Fidelity Ford uh, taking this at all. Hangman Page um, and um, Kenny Omega uh, versus Best Friends. Uh, you know, Best Friends, uh, I do not see... Uh, I really can't get into best friends. I like the, I like when Orange Cassidy there uh, is with best friends. That, that, that's pretty much it. The, those three play off of each other well. Um, you know, but a part of me is like, well, whatever happened to that dissension between uh, Hangman Page and um, Kenny? Uh, Kenny Omega, right? Um, and that was put on hold, as you know, pretty much all the rest of the world uh, was put on hold. Uh, I, I see the tag champs uh, winning this one, and this is, um, you know, a, a clear uh, victory. Clear victory. They really don't have anything to, and you know, best friends. Uh, what's their What's their reason for, for them not liking uh, each other? Uh, like, what, what's their storyline? Why do they hate each other? Um, you know, well, you might say to me, well, maybe you don't need a storyline. Okay, but um, why, like, why should I be in, 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 in invested in this? Um, like what? Like why should I care? Why should I be concerned? Uh, you know, I don't know. Like I don't see, you know, I don't see it. Uh, you know, I think uh, these two, uh, these Kenny Omega and, and um, Hangman Page uh, retain the title. Private Party uh, versus uh, Ortiz and Santana. Now, Private Party, Ortiz and Santana, uh, they, they have 
history, right? They have had history. They have met each other uh, before. You know, so they, they know how to work well with each other against each other. I could see the match. I could see it. I could see a lot of movement, a lot of high spots. But again, I, I'm like I don't know why I should. What is the main storyline that, that's gluing all of this together? Am I missing something? It's like really like I like I feel like if I'm looking at this whole card per se, with the exception maybe you could say Cody and Jake first night. Like really, like really, really, like why do the why do these people hate each other? Like why is there a match, right? Why? Like what's the main thing? So again, with this one, Santina, San, Santana, and Ortiz. Versus private party, uh, inner circle. You know, are you are you with with Sammy Gravara out? Do you now break up the inner circle? Is this the time to break them up? Apparently, there were. I think rumor is is that they were going to break them up, and then uh, you know, just the pandemic happened, decided to stay with it. Right, I mean, so it's hard to predict. I mean, with that, then you know, some type of interference by inner how uh, by um, inner circle, and we have the victory by um, uh, private uh, private party. Cody uh, versus Jake Hager. Jake Hager. I don't know. He gets an opportunity, a match. Versus um, Cody after he lost to Moxley not too long ago. So for a guy that's been really uh, not that much on a on, on a win streak here, why does he have an opportunity against Cody? Is it because everyone gets a shot? This is a belt that Cody is going to defend no matter up against two. And that doesn't it doesn't matter. That it's just about competition, and I guess so. I could go with it. Um, I could go with that, uh, but I do think here that it's going to be Cody that picks up the win against uh, Hager. So that's you know that's night one of Fighter Fest. Uh, my predictions for night one. Tessa Blanchard uh, was let go by Impact Wrestling. Apparently, um, no more. No longer there. Um, I, it's just another thing, uh, you know, with Impact that just kind of just seems to blow up. And that doesn't really work out in their favor. She became, you know, after all that work with Sammy Callahan... All this attention. Uh, she wins the strap, wins the title, and then you know the, the pandemic happens, and you really can't do much with that. Uh, but you know they asked her apparently to do some things to come back, and she really wasn't willing to do it. You know, like not even promos apparently, or tape yet to tape promos rather, and uh, you know. They had to, Felt like she was trying to strong arm him for more money. Whatever the case may be, it's now just gone to complete crap. All that momentum, all that news that you had, um, it's just gone because uh, she's no longer with the company. So, you know, so she now again, she's an afterthought. Her momentous victory is no longer talked about, or it doesn't translate, it does not carry over to anything else, because considering the timeline of what happened, everything seemed such a short time, short term, apparently it's it's short term, and this did not happen, did not pay off well for impact with Tessa Blanchard uh, in the long term, so I don't know, you know, 
where do you go from here uh, with impact? Now you gotta start all, all over again. After all that uh, time that you put into building the Tesla branch, your character, she's uh, no longer there with um, impact. And it, it's a shame. You know, because that, that's a star that you, you that impact built up. Put a lot of gas behind, and I know it's a two-way street, uh, but she's not uh, there no more. And that's a, uh, you know, that's a, that's a damn shame. That's a damn shame. Um, you know, just, a, I mean, just sometimes it seems like. Through no and it's no fault of their own. Sometimes impact cannot get out of their own way. That's gonna do it. Uh, this second episode. I uh, just wanted to uh, kind of throw in that story. I think that's all pretty much it for what we had for as far as um, news and rumors. Um, you know, from the past week. Again, I'm going to be looking to do this uh, live streaming and all the works, all that fun stuff. Hope to get it done very, very soon. Hope to have that going. Look forward, guys. Speaking to you very, very soon. Again, next week. Hope all is well. Until next time. Ciao.